the usurpers have been overthrown by the indigenous peoples of the land, which is us, right? So he came and he gave the public notice so that the people can be aware that the system is over. Now, I was going over um, something with Sister Kia Pruitt, trying to explain to her why the mayor of her town wasn't responding to her, right? And what I was explaining to her is they have no functional government. They, AI is running the show right now. Artificial intelligence and program computers is running your television programming, radio programming, and half of your internet releases are all being done by AI, artificial intelligence. Um, they are doing things to disrupt us, but all we needed, and for people remember that's been watching me, we needed one city to activate the continuity of government, FEMA relief protocols, and begin to release the funds that FEMA had already secured in order to bring relief to the people from housing situations, debt situations. None of the debt is ours. They was incurring the debt and they was using our pseudonyms, our false names that they gave us as straw men. And they was incurring debts by means of fraud, which nullifies all contracts, right? So when me and Grand Sheik was on here talking, he was explaining, and me and him was going over this with the people that, that if you have to know how to proceed in law and, and follow the tribal laws in order to overthrow their system. First, we had to cancel the contracts with a valid claim, which was the non-performance and the constructed fraud. And automatically, all of their treaties they never honor is the non-performance. And the constructed fraud is the fact that they were depleting the people of resources while they never told the people the resources was theirs to access if they reestablished the tribal structures. We didn't know. And they exploited us for our ignorance. So to say, then surely my children shall suffer from the lack of knowledge. Right? So we come in now, we have to tell them, hey, look, this, this United States fiasco is over. Right? Senate and Congress just took seven-week vacation. It's not heard of. They took a seven week vacation and there is a uh, a housing bill that was put before them. There was also a bill put before them to eliminate the uh, IRS and, and um, taxing you at your income. That was always illegal constitutionally, but we was never under a constitution in truth. They held the constitution up, but they was running behind the scenes using a different set of protocols and laws and ordinances that had nothing to do with us. Because they had nothing to do with us, none of us even thought that it needed to be investigated because we didn't know what was going on. So now this we canceled the contracts that came to an end July the 4th, 2019. July the 6th, I exercised the blood right to the land to restore the organic people back to um, the ownership of the land. Right. So a lot of people might be thinking of saying I did this for me. I didn't do it for me because it would never work. But I can do it on behalf of all of us. I can use the, my blood ties to the land to reclaim the land on behalf of all of us. But we have to learn. Remember, Noble Drew Ali said I'm going to leave these people in power long enough for y'all to learn how to run the government. Right. That's one of the most uh, infamous quotes of Noble Drew Ali. Right. So we don't know how to run the government now, but we don't know we need to take charge and reform governments at the city level. The cities were ain't were, were, were our villages. And let me ask you something, um, Rod. In in the past, I'm 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 learning that we were in, in, in many instances at one point running govern what we would call government today. We were the question I have is. What happened? You know, it, it almost seemed like we we went backwards. So what happened to shift the power? Okay, so first we we know the American Revolution, right? Revolutionary War, the Boston Tea Party, um, all of the stuff they told us. Um, uh, George Washington in the uh, founding of the Constitution in 1864, right? We familiar with all of that, right? Mm -hmm. What they're not telling you is. 
that the corporation was set up like the Halliburton was in Afghanistan. Now, if you go back to the Iraqi war, because this is our most recent frame of re reference where the cookie cutter cut the same cookie, just in a different part of the world. So let's say Halliburton, who was uh, Dick Cheney's company, who sat on the board of, who got all of the contracts to rebuild Iraq and Afghanistan. Now, while they got these contracts to rebuild the land for the people, they just took over. That's how that's what happened to us. So because we thought they were legitimate, right? Most people don't know all police charters tie into the United Nations as a UN peacekeeping force. I mean, we occupied by a foreign entity and we didn't know it. That's why the police violence don't get the proper reception and it continues to perpetuate. And they use it because it's a sore spot for our people. They know that if the police violence is put on display, we're going to react from years of the police violence inflicted upon us. They trying to make us react now because they don't want us to know that their corporate game is all over and done with. Right. So we needed one city to uh, institute tribal jurisdiction in one city. And now I don't know if the city people are aware of it because you have to set up a, a new city council. But they seize the city on the behalf of the matriarchy, make a public notice, and then they activate FEMA. The first city so far to do it is a town of Sun Village in California. Sun Village, it was reported on January the 27th that it was the first uh, black tribal township in North America, which we know is a fallacy. But they put in the notice out into the public domain so I could tell the people we got one city. Now we only got a couple hundred uh, cities left to go. Right? But one city is enough to to activate everything, if the city council know to activate FEMA, that bring the national debt becomes the national debit for the rebuilding of the infrastructure and for the relief of the people, right? And they can dispense the, um, the national debit in any form that the council, the government that's going to be established, um, they can send it out in weekly checks. What does Inflation that is going to be froze. Yeah, but what does that say to the fact that we're hearing that so the 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 uh, fiat currency is is you know has lost its value and has no trading value internationally? So what will what will be the form of of uh, of uh, trade? All currency? all currencies around the world now are secured by the old gold standard. The gold standard is the return standard for the um, backing of the wealth because we use the gold in intergalactic travel, right? So the gold is being traded intergalactically from Earth to other places so we can use that as a viable source of solidified income, a, a, a base for wealth, right? So now so, we're going oh, from a system, we're going we from the system of... Look, we're going from the system of fiat. Fiat was a debt-based demand system to demand on payment a legal tender, but none of the tender had been legal. Okay. All right. So now when you re restore the gold standard, you have silver certificates and gold certificates to be put into circulation in the place of greenback notes. Mm -hmm. Right. And, um, people be receive cards that have massive amounts of debit on them already, right? So the, it, it, we have our wealth, we have access to it, but our people still don't understand what's taking place in real time. So they not mobilizing to reclaim the land. They sitting around waiting on somebody to um, even inform them that we received the title deed of the land that was already predicated upon the fraud. We seized it using um, the birthright of the matriarchs. 
<clears throat> we seized all of their assets for fraud. And now the assets become the property of the collected tribes. All of their asset is restructured under the new tribal government. And this is what we have to start at the grassroots level to rebuild government. So I was thinking how you have um, um, Grand Sheik explain how local government, that's the only one where you can really exercise power, local government. Because once you start getting to people that need electorates and delegates, you lost your power because those people work for the highest bidder. They call them lobbyists, right? So you sending people to DC and they all working for somebody that owns a corporation somewhere or a bank. They not working for us. So we have to restructure government. This is what we froze on right now. People don't understand there is no active government. It's only AI through a series of computer edits just telling them what was that's running the stage show that they see as they up updates and reports. Um, there's a question out here. I want to, before we get too, too far in, it says, um, I'm just going to pop it up here. And it says to ask you, how did you, you con cancel the contract or treaty? It said, I thought Farrakhan canceled the contract. <clears throat> the, the public notice, I put it up on Facebook. I did it July the 6th, 2019. Nobody else put it in the public domain to exercise the blood and the right to cancel out the fraudulent contracts for non-performance and fraud. So when I seen nobody didn't do it, I had 72 hours to respond. I waited 48 hours. Then I put it in the public domain because we are oral tradition. We have to follow the law of the land. Right. Mm -hmm. Farrakhan um, ha had to approve for me to even be able to do that because Mother Khadijah is the highest ranked matriarch of the tribes. Right. So um, I had to go through them to say, OK, it's OK for you to close out their contracts as one of the chiefs on the land. So. It's a combination of both things. It's really not just me. It's the collective decision of a group of chiefs all across the land, including Angel Bay, including Larry Hoover, including Imam Abu Jamal Al Amin, including Mumia Shakur, including Asada Shakur, including Afeni Shakur. We, there's there's hundreds of us that had to approve before I could close the contracts, and they was all tired of the same thing the rest of us is tired of. Okay, so was there a, a response uh, at all? Uh, at, um, something did something happen somewhere to signal um, that? Yeah, we saw that, and we realized that y'all done you've done that. And yeah, um, Donald Trump, Donald J. Trump, um, he he gave the messages and speeches while he was in office actively in the open. He told us the whole story. But we all listened to the media say that Trump was crazy and he didn't know what he was talking about. But Trump was doing what the same thing that they used to make us do to get messages to each other. He, had, he was bug dancing for the man. Right. But while he bug dancing, he flipping us all of the sands. Right. So the laws are, are all of these executive orders. And um, the things that's been activated, the people just don't know that they activated, but it's been put on uh, in public domain for us to find it. They're not going to tell us, hey, you got your power back. We have to be power is a funny thing. If you don't take your power, you don't have your power. And we not in power until we in power. We the collective grassroots have to be aware. That's what my job is at this time is to give the information to the grassroots, right? Grand Sheik gave the laws that are in the re all of the, the data you need to look up to determine what we're talking about and its accuracy. I've been posting this stuff as it's been happening in real time, but the problem is, is we don't pay very good attention to the short game and we don't even know it's a long game. So I'm fighting in a protracted struggle with a bunch of other people from across the land for somebody who doesn't know we fighting for them. 
right? So they say, well, how they come over here and just take over? They didn't. We never stopped fighting. We not the ones who signed those treaties. They put $5 Indians, dogs, roll participants up and sent them to Indian school to teach them our culture so they can mimic us. Rome fought wars with Huns, Mongolians, and Vedics. And that's who they took as servants. All you got to do is go back and look. And when they and in the history books, they say when they left Europe, they took their servants with them. Right, right, right. So th this is where they came from. This how you, that's how come they can tell you we Mongolian. They know they Mongolians. Right? They know they Genghis Khan's children and Attila the Hun's children. They know this. The ones that found out um, that they was being used as a dupe took sides with us. Mm -hmm. And the ones who was trying to be obedient to authority took, side, took sides with their slave master. You can tell the difference in them today because the ones who took sides with the slave master hope these nappy head mother shut up. Stop telling them who you is. Because it's undeniable that once y'all know who y'all is, that y'all back for everything they owe. All of it. And it's there. And I'm trying to get us to focus and pay attention so we can seize it. Right? So this is where we at. We looking for Haiti, right? Because Haiti is Haiti is what's going to tell the story. That's the first place they landed in Hispaniola. That's where they conjure first started, and that's how we we beat them in the final war to conjure. We tracked them back by reverse engineering what they did back to Haiti. Once we liberate Haiti and put it back in the tribes of the island. Haiti and Dominica, which also all of the other islands are already taking their governments back. The tribes know what's going on and they taking government back, but we ain't paying none of this no attention over here on the mainland. We thinking everything is business as usual when it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've been in a protracted struggle, right? They do a mimic parade down in Florida with boats that's mimicking the assaults of the Spanish Armada, right? It's a, a water parade. And this was the stronghold of the conflict for the Spanish versus the Gullahs. All of the tribes sent somebody to fight in the Gullah Wars because the Gullah Geechee sent the distress signal clean across the land. So we all came as far away as the island, the Tongas and Samoas, as far away as Hawaii, the Califias, everybody sent. So that's why the land was declared part of the crash site in the Louisiana Purchase, because we had left the castles. We don't send our people to fight and don't go with them. None of the chiefs do that. Right. So we was taking our family to the battlefield. This is how we all got so concentrated in the in the south and the southeast. <clears throat> Then what they was calling the Great Migration, they said we was going to the north and to the west for industrialized, um, for industrialization in search of employment. That's not true. We was going back home. That's from? what we was doing. We was figuring out where we was from and we was going back home. The land talked to us and tell us you need to be over here. The land talked to us. Mama talked to us. Mother Earth talked to us through frequency, tones, and vibrations of the vibrational frequency they call Schumann resonance, which is about to return back to the Shu and Tefnut resonance, which is the appropriate resonant frequency of the Earth. And that's going to be Atlas Shrugged. That's when she shaked the parasites. Right? So it's not a secret that I talked about sudden, death, sudden adult death syndrome two years ago. When it wasn't even happening. But I'm telling you what's going to happen. Not, I'm not even a prophet. The reason why I can tell you is because I know what the side effects of the earth changeover is from historical records of what happened before. They can cover it up and blame it on anything they want to. But it's varying different reasons why these people is suddenly just dropping like flies. Right. But they also notice that certain animals is doing the same thing. 
right? That, that's they're not paying that no attention. Those are hybrids created by man that won't be able to upgrade with the fifth dimensional frequency in the age of Aquarius, and they drop out the sky by the by the thousand, and don't nobody know why they falling out the sky. Anything that man made that can't upgrade to the frequency is gonna die. It has to happen that way because that's the natural defense mechanism of the planet. Now they can steer the story however they want to tell it, but it's already recorded in the annals of history that this happens every 3,600 years when the um, Earth's um, magnetic poles reverse position. It's already on record. The ancients wrote about it. They told it in legends and fairy tales. We see it coming back as movies and um, music. Yeah. They put it in songs now and they telling the whole story, but we don't know what they talking about because it just sounded like it. And I was a good actor in the show. I was entertained. Right. But it's over. This whole system, the IRS, the Federal Reserve, all of it's gone. Right. All these police stations is going to start closing down. They already started. Because there is no funds. The funds is just tapering off. And the ones who had the most funds on reserve is the ones that's going to hold out the longest before they have to close their police stations. We as men have to be prepared to secure our communities because if not, we're going to turn into Mad Max beyond Thunderdome because we ain't doing what we supposed to We can make it into a peaceful and cushiony transition of opulence and wealth and we can have Mardi Gras from coast to coast. We build this stand up and secure our communities. Which that's why you got at the city level, local government is the most um, people to control the whole you. country. The yeah. way that works is it's it's uh um they they innocent by your consent. Okay. It's the same as like. If a girl consents to sex, it's not rape, right? So if she's not in a position to consent because she's incapacitated, it's rape, but she can't call rape because she didn't know what happened, okay. right? So that's where we at. We was the ones getting raped, but we ain't know we was getting raped. They was taking all our, they was, well, they was levying our wealth and they was living off of it like it was a slush fund. Mm -hmm. But it's still there. They said that they stole our land, but every time I look out the window, our land is still there. Right. I done went all over and I still see Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, North, South Carolina. I still see the land. Everywhere I go, it's still here. So if they stole it, where they concealed it at? <laughs> it's just appearance of legitimacy um, with their paperwork and the compliance with the appearance of legitimacy that kept us trapped. They was passing the, the kangaroo courts off as real courts, but they weren't. The only true courts on the land are called tribal consular courts. Or those, or those be the Article 3 courts that they talk about? No, because the Constitution has never been in effect. They, they, it's, it's never really been in effect. They've been using um, the Constitution as, look, we follow in the Constitution, but they've never followed it. They never set up Article 3. All of these courts that we are attending are called adjunct courts. Adjunct courts, okay. Right. And they are, uh, they operate under admiralty jurisdiction. They don't operate under tribal jurisdiction. Uh, code. They don't operate from the tribal laws of the land. They operate from the um, trade laws of the Uniform Commercial Code at sea. That's what nationality is all about. Because now you have to dock to a, you have to be tied to a ship in order to be part of the bounty when they dividing up the goods. Your nationhood is establishing which, which ship you belong to. So you're trying to see where you fit in and so that you could be taken care of by the captain of the ship. But the captain don't have no intentions on doing anything for you. Hmm. Whether you earned it or not. He wants you to do everything to help him run the ship. But if you find out that you ain't got nothing coming, 
then he won't do away with you because he don't want you infecting the rest of the masses of the ignorant that don't know no better. Because once y'all start figuring it out and putting the pieces together, then you can uh, decline to consent to the adhesion contract. Right. We what? don't we Explain we don't need adhesion contract is because I know adhesion sounds to me something attached to something else. It is. The adhesion contracts are those contracts like driver's license is an adhesion contract under they they usurping a right. First of all, the right to traverse the land, freedom of locomotion is covered under the Constitution. That's how you know it's not in effect. Because they usurping it. The right to bear arms as an amendment is not there to go hunting or to go skeet shooting. It's there for when the government go rogue, you can blast them in the ass. But if you don't have no sense of wherewithal or why is the right to bear arms, <clears throat> you won't know your sworn enemy is trying to take away your right to bear arms. But the ones who know what it's all about is the ones that join the NRA and they join all of these um, uh, what they call extremist militia groups because they know that the constitutional Second Amendment is not there for you to go rabbit hunting. It specifically say that you have the right to form a well-formed militia and overthrow the government when it go rogue. It went rogue a long time ago. It went rogue a long time ago, but nobody pulled rank. None of the chiefs pulled rank. That's why the civics that I was studying from Taj, because it shows you the structure of law and how they applying it, that you can now know how to get out of it. They swearing up and down, we imbeciles in law and we proving them right by participating in a system. Divorce so people, yourself from the system. People are still, you know, trying to figure out how to nationalize or, you know, get out of the, Like you just said, to get out of the system. I know because I get calls every day about that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't even know what to tell them. You, you, you know what I mean? I Look, a national na nationalization is getting your driver, getting your cars uh, title stamped. That's all it is. You just stamping yourself as a, who's your slave master. <clears throat> all of the nations is corporations. Okay. That's the first thing we didn't know. All of the nations are corporations. And that's how we know that they de facto because uh, the true um, de jour is a government composed of the people from the land, on the land, that's monitoring the land. They get mad at the gangs for doing it, but they not understanding that's what they was birthed for. That's why they clicked up like that in those tribes. Right? But you don't know they tribing up because the enemy told you they was the enemy. Who do you, who are you calling the gang? The vice lords, the gangs, disciples, okay. the crypts, the bloods, those are tribes. Right. OK. All right. But the government branded them and used propaganda to convince you that they were they didn't have no place on the land. They got every right to be on the land in a tribe. Mm -hmm. Right now, we can't stop the killing because the same people that branded them gang.